people show their respect before the picture or statue of Mary and pray. Even the Pope prays before Mary with his head lowered. Why do people praise and worship Mary, whom Jesus was born of? Now Catholics are taught that it is better to pray to Mary, who is merciful and understands us. We must never go to our Lord Jesus except through Mary, using her intercession and good standing with Him. We must never be without her when praying to Jesus. The plausible logic that Jesus cannot refuse Mary's request because she is his mother is shown well even through the image of Mary and baby Jesus. In most cases, Jesus is nested in Mary's arms as a baby. This downgrades Jesus to a little baby who is always dependent on Mary and lets people think that he can do nothing without Mary. Today, the Catholics think more highly of Mary than Jesus. They call Mary the mother of God, which implies that she is above God. Mary as a female is merely a creation who was chosen to conceive Jesus. How ridiculous it is for a creation to be called the mother of God because God used her womb to be born in the earth. Nevertheless, the Catholic Church venerates Mary as the mother of God. Mary worship of the Catholic Church reminds us of the mother-child worship of ancient Babylon. Just as Semiramis artfully spread the mother-child worship throughout Babylon when she ruled it over instead of her son Tammuz, the Catholic Church now makes people worship Mary, not God, by accepting the mother-child worship from Babylon. Christus filius tuus, qui regressus ab inferis, humano generis erenus iluxit, et tecum vivit et regnat in secula seculorum. The long-awaited day has finally arrived. The day when Joseph Sabra, a Christian refugee from Syria, will see and hear Pope Francis. To Joseph, the Pope's visit to Jordan signals an opportunity to begin healing the wounds of war. He can barely hide his elation. Aqui de Dan. 
بتمنى توصل الرساله للعالم كلياته بطريقه صح